has a long tradition and history um, of helping other people. I was very keen to create those same opportunities for boys and girls to benefit from a boarding education, irrespective of parental means. And Max has already laid a bet that if he gets to within my number to within five decimal places, remember to check everything at eye level. We run a programme here called Into University, which helps inner city young people reach their potential. And one of the ways in which we can help them reach their potential is by referring them to the Arnold Foundation, which gives them a brilliant education, the most fantastic opportunities to use the rugby school facilities and the chance to meet with different kinds of people from different backgrounds that they just wouldn't encounter in their inner city context. In a sense, that is the fundamental belief and aspiration of the Arnold Foundation, which is to provide life-changing opportunities, which is something that all rugbyans benefit from. The first time I went to visit rugby, I didn't know what to expect at all, and I wasn't expecting it to be friendly, open, completely welcoming, and it was all of those things. And that was really important for me, and it was one of the reasons why I decided that we really would work with the Arnold Foundation and refer our young people there. A boarding education um, is crucial for us because, of course, of the opportunities for all-round character development that come outside of the classroom. One of the things that impressed me was the pastoral care that they were providing the young people, and also that it wasn't just about giving a child a brilliant education, it was a much broader picture. What really makes it distinctive has been the way in which we've gone about recruiting the pupils. We very much wanted to work in partnership with educational charities. So, for example, Inter University Eastside Young Leaders Academy in London. But we've also got links in Wales. We're developing links in Scotland. We've got a boy from Future Hope in India. And we're looking to develop links both in Hong Kong and in the United States of America as well. I actually mentored Rodri for sort of the first day. And straight away, like, as soon as we bumped into each other, we knew that we be good friends and we're close through rugby and very similar backgrounds and obviously he's a Welsh boy but apart from that. Yes, I thought he might be a fish out of water and it would be terribly posh people and he wouldn't have anything in common with them but that wasn't the case at all. Coming here, people are very friendly, um, staff very approachable. Um, it's almost it's a different way of living but it's a very positive way of living. Much more independent. It's excellent, I love it. One of the things he said was that he would be okay with the discipline because he was used to a strict upbringing. <laughs> we knew that it was essential to make this a success, that we had to make sure that it was an experience for the entire family. So, for example, we have a parent coordinator, and she's been a great success. And for the Arnold Foundation people who come to the school, as well as their uh, existing pastoral support, we have two additional Arnold Foundation tutors. So, in a sense, it's no different from what all rugbyans are getting, not just in term time, but in holidays as well. It's important for these boys and girls. They go back to where they've come from in the holidays, and they're very positive role models within their community. I asked him why he gives so much money to one child because it's an incredible amount of money, isn't it? And he said, because we want it to be life-changing. Don't disappoint me, Sam. Um, the alliance between middle classes and working class is essential for the success of extra parliamentary campaigns. There's a great Chartist slogan from the 19th century that education is a liberating force, and that's something that I passionately believe in, and it's something that underpins everything that we do at rugby, is to give all the pupils who come here that opportunity. But it's something that really, really is at the heart of the Arnold Foundation. That here we are trying to provide a life-changing, transformational opportunity uh, for boys and girls to, to seize. Coming here has made me realise that there is a different world out there, and it's completely... It's opened my eyes to a lot. There are lots of opportunities and you can do things like CCF, which I think is really cool. I knew it was a good education, but then what kind of life? She has never been away from me. I've grown up slightly now and become more independent. Francesca hopes to study further, go to uni. Uh, she has wanted to become a teacher, 
an important part of what we're about is, is making everybody appreciate that we're all different. We all have our own strengths and weaknesses, and it doesn't really matter where you've come from. There's no limit to how high you can go. My confidence has, has increased since coming up. Acceptance to accept people for who they are and where they've come from, not judging them for like where they've gone, where they've been. Right now, I'm at university, Leeds University, and I'm studying civil engineering. I'm at Loughborough University and I'm studying materials engineering and design. <laughs> so don't I'm come awful. from too far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I look back on like my time here, it feels like I have come so far as a person because I'm a lot more mature. In my third year, there's an option of taking a year, a year out abroad like where you can do civil engineering. And hopefully I'll do that possibly in Australia where I took my gap year. Imagine building something that could help a family or help a community or just make such a difference to the community or just a different like it would be standing there for years to come even when you've gone as well it would still be standing there it's just something that I find so I think it's beautiful <laughs> I think we also opened other people's eyes especially from here as well like yeah. because we've come from a very different background from where they're like I come from a council state or some of them <laughs> yeah. come from like a castle or something like that not, yeah, not so much a castle but nowhere, I come like, from Scotland quite a and stuff and we're just like whoa wow. and like they see people like us that have come from that kind of background and so we're actually pretty normal as well and I think their view of people like, of, of us of people like us of, like they become more acceptable as well I reckon we've got a hugely ambitious target to reach um, we've uh, agreed with the governing body that we're working towards 10% of the school being funded either through the original Lawrence Sheriff bequest or through the Arnold Foundation. So we're effectively looking to have 80 pupils, which will make a huge difference um, in, for, for so many young people. It's an immensely rewarding thing to think that you have actually contributed to a life-transforming opportunity. It's a massive opportunity. That's the only way we can describe it. It's, it's just like... and. Because now that we've gone through it and um, we've just come out the other side, completely better people and different people, and we're just so, so many options and doors it. open for us. <laughs> it has been really a very big gift to me, more than really winning a lottery, I would say so.